Good evening and welcome to the informational open house for the North Lake Trail Phase 3 planning study presented by the Florida Department of Transportation. This short presentation will introduce you to the planning study's findings and the resulting proposed alternatives. Afterwards, staff will be available to answer questions, discuss the alternatives, and allow you a chance to provide feedback. This meeting is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, the Title VI Coordinator for FDOT District 5, by email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. The study corridor along State Road 19, County Road 445, and County Road 445A begins at County Road 450 and ends at State Road 40, a total of 19 miles. The study area encompasses several communities, including the city of Umatilla, the unincorporated areas of Altoona and Pittman, and the Ocala National Forest. Alternative A follows State Road 19, Alternative B follows State Road 19 to County Road 445 and then County Road 445A to State Road 40, and Alternative C takes State Road 19 to County Road 445A and then follows County Road 445A to State Road 40. The Lake County Trails Master Plan identifies the study corridor as part of a planned concept trail. The trail would connect to the proposed State Road 40 Black Bear Trail and as a result also connect to the Heart of Florida Loop. The Heart of Florida Loop is a 250 mile trail network throughout Central Florida. The purpose of the North Lake Trail is to provide a safe, comfortable, and accessible paved facility for bicyclists, pedestrians, and other non-motorized users of all ages and abilities along State Road 19 between County Road 450 and State Road 40. The trail is needed because of a lack of safe facilities along this corridor and to fill a gap in the regional trail network. The scope of this corridor planning study is to determine which alternatives can move forward to the next stage of the process. The Project Development and Environment PD&E study process, which addresses state and federal requirements, is a combination of transportation planning, engineering evaluations, environmental analysis, and public involvement. We are currently in Phase 1 of the project process. We have completed the data collection and existing conditions analysis, developed alternatives, and we are finalizing the evaluation of those alternatives today. After this open house, our next step is to finalize the corridor concept plan in Spring 2019. The recommended alternatives may be carried forward into the Project Development and Environment, or pd &E, phase, where they would be further refined. Around the room, we have several maps of the trail alternatives for your review. We have also put on display a comparison of the trail alternatives for open discussion. If you have any questions or comments, please contact a member of the project team at any of our stations. You may also submit a comment form with your questions, which you can either return to the sign-in table, email, or mail. Thank you for attending today's open house. Additional information about the project, including this presentation, is available on the project website found on www.cflroads.com. You will now have the opportunity to review the proposed alternatives in more detail. The project team is on hand to answer questions and discuss the results of the studies thus far. You may also contact the study team directly by phone or email.